baked a cake for you and I, lots of cream and colourful sprinkles, a nice cup of tea, freshly brewed, we laugh and chat till afternoon, and gaze up at the blue sky, unaware of the passing time. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So I picked this up a few months back from the thrift store and I decided today to give it a thrift makeover. This was actually a lot trickier than I thought. You'll see what I mean later on in the video. So I did really like this and there wasn't much I could do with it of course because you know you can't change the shape or anything like that so I just wanted to refresh the look because it was a bit outdated, all of the colours had faded. So I'm starting off with this chalk white paint tester pot that I brought from Wilco. So I just used a big paintbrush and I painted the whole of the lid white. I left the cherry so that I can come back and work on that later. While my paint was wet I went and took some of these sprinkles and I just sprinkled them all over the lid. I can link the sprinkles for you in the description box. They're usually used for slimes and things like that. I then started working on the rest of the box and just covering all of the cream parts with the same white paint. And then I added some sprinkles to the sides just covering where the sprinkles were originally. I then took my red paint and I started working on the cherry, I just gave it a new fresh colour. I then went over the lid and everywhere where I had put the sprinkles on with some of my matte mud pudge. This was basically just so that they don't knock off or fall off or anything like that and it's all nice and secure. I then wanted my cherry to have a nice gloss to it so I took my gloss mud pudge and went over it with that. So everything was going nice and easy, it was so so relaxing and fun doing this project and then comes the next part. So I wanted to stick with the original baby pink colour because I thought it was really nice, I really loved the pastels and how fun it was. So I took the baby pink paint that I had which was from Hubby Craft, it was ready mix. And I started painting over all of the areas that were pink originally on the box. And basically, cut a long story short, <laughs> because it was ceramic, the paint wasn't sticking to the surface basically. It just kept crumbling, it just, uh, it was a real nightmare, as you can see and hear. Hope this isn't going to turn out to be a fail, but look what's happened. I'm going to give it a second coat and see how it turns out, but just hope it's okay. The weird thing about it is that some parts were drying quite nicely so that made me think you know maybe if I just wait for all the layers to dry it will be fine if I just carry on building the layers one by one and then waiting for them to dry. So that's what I did, I painted everything once, let it dry for several hours and then I went back in to paint another layer. Then, to my surprise, what happened was, as I was painting the second layer, the first layer was just crumbling away. So it just looked so, so gross. It kind of looked like cottage cheese. This is like my third layer of paint now. And it's just not sticking to the surface. It keeps just peeling away like this. Oh, I knew I should have put a layer of Mud Podge down first. I'm literally going to have to just wipe it all away. Look at it, it's kind of like clotted cream or something. Oh goodness. I just kept trying and it just kept going wrong. So I got the picture, I thought okay this is obviously not made for surfaces like this and I decided you know what that white paint that I used from Wilco did really well on the lid so let me paint the whole thing white so that I have a nice surface to work with. I thought if I did that and I let it dry that basically it wouldn't be the ceramic surface and that maybe if I used the same baby pink colour paint that it would adhere to that surface better now because it's got like a layer of paint on but it still didn't work so I kind of just had to give up on the idea of using that nice pink colour and I went and looked at what good quality thick paints that weren't ready mixed uh, that I had in my stash and I found this silver colour. Now this acrylic paint also mentioned that it adheres to ceramic, wood and lots of different surfaces so I thought okay this should go on a lot easier especially as I had prepped the surface so to speak with the white paint 
and it definitely did work a lot better than the previous pink paint that I had tried but I did have to use literally five layers of that silver paint so honestly this project was supposed to be really really easy but it took me about three days in total and there was lots of challenges with it so it required a lot of patience and quite a lot of time because I had to sit and wait for every single layer to dry before I went in with the other one so in case you've forgotten this was the before and then this is the after I'm definitely happy with how it came out in the end and I'm so glad it all worked out I hope that I have inspired you to just do something different and even if it's outside your comfort zones you're going to learn with it and it's always good to challenge yourselves. I also hope that you can look around things that you already have at home especially because it's difficult to go out right now and shop and just bring things to life even things that you think look kind of horrible or you think you know there's no way to save that it just goes to show what a bit of paint can do i hope that you have enjoyed this video please do leave me a thumbs up and a comment and as always if you're new to my channel please make sure you click that subscribe button and i will catch you in the next video take care of yourselves thank you so much for watching bye